vijana ambapo tutakuwa tunaungana naye Paul Mwaniki kutoka mji wa Laikipia na tumai kwa sasa yuko tayari naona nyuma yake ni baadhi tu ya vijana ambao unaungana naye Paul Mwaniki hujambo sukani kwako tueleze kuhusiana na kongamano hilo Asanti sana wenzangu na wapata kwa jia iliyo mufti na kama mulivyotaja ni kwamba tuko hapa katika mji wa Nanyuki ambapo ni maonyesho ya vijana ambao ni wabunifu na pia katika biashara na wakuwa kiungana mara kwa mara ili kuonyesha baadhi ya zile vitu ambao wanategeneza na taranta zao hali kadhalika ili waweze kuwakilishwa ama kuhakikisha kwamba wanakutana na mabanki wanakutana na mashirika barabari ambayo yatakuza hizi talanta na pia uh, tunaona kwamba uh, shirika ama wanajeshi wa uh, wa, uh, wa Uingereza ambao wanajulikana kama Batuk wamekuwa wakishikilia hili jambo sana na tutakuwa tukiungana na Ali Abaya ameada haya maonyesho ni msana ambaye ni mkamamafu mkakamavu ambaye ameona kwamba ni, vi, ni shalti vijana wa jumuisho ama wawekwe katika hali ambayo inatotosha. Karibu sana Grace, tueleze jina lako, tueleze madhumuni ya maonyesho hii ya leo na mnatarajia vipi kufikia hapo kesho ambapo mtamaliza haya maonyesho? Kwa majina naitwa Grace Wanene na mimi ndiye mwanzilishi wa organization ambayo inaitwa Dreaming Dreams Initiative ambapo tunafanya mambo ya kusaidia vijana kukuza talanta zao na pia biashara zao na ndio maana tuko na ni muhimu tuko na uh, kitu ambacho inaitwa the Dream Youth Expo, Expo ambayo tulianza last year wakati and tunafurahi sana kuona there are so many people wenye na support si vijana pekee but pia uh, partners kama uh, British Army late for the world uh, wa reproductive health for this policy institute na ni wakati kama huu ambapo tumekuwa na disruptors kama covid-19 vijana wamekosa kazi hapa na pale watu wameshindwa kuuza vitu vyao kwa sababu pia rent imekuwa juu sana kwa nini tukuwe na nafasi ambayo inasaidia watu kuja pamoja na kusaidiana ku each other na pia ku provide support for young people in business and also wenye pia wanataka kuanzisha biashara kwa sababu talanta tuko nazo shida ni platform ndio hatuna but hapa you will find everything in one place kujeni tuendelee hata kesho tutakuwa hapa kutakuwa pia na fashion show ambapo vijana watonyesha talanta zao na pia sisi wenye tuna learn sana sana kutoka kwa watu wamekuja kutoka Nairobi Meru Isiolo na pia Lekipia county kwa hivyo i mean like sisi tuko na furaha sana kama ambavyo unavona so keep it locked eh, labda ni kuulize tumeona kwamba vijana ni wengi ambao wako na taranta labda mnawashikanisha na tuseme kama idara za fedha idara za serikali mm -hmm. ili kuona kwamba ile vitu wanaunda wanasaidika and kweli tuna um, sea ambao ni small and micro enterprise ya shirika ya uh, Kenya mzima so hapo tunaweza ku scout ku scout ni kumaanisha unaweza sema huyu huyu na huyu ako na kipaji fulani so kila anataka ni platform ama mtu ku invest in what they are doing ndio waweze kukuza na pia kuweza kupata pesa kwa kile wanachofanya kwa sababu ukifika kitu ninachopenda na kuletei pesa sasa zingine inamaliza in, in, in hata mutisha lakini ukipata pesa from what you love and what you doing basi inasaidia so tuko na hao na pia watu tofauti kama individuals naweza kuja pa kama grace lakini mnaweza kusa kujua kwamba mimi ni talent development officer pahali ama niko na interest na vipaji tofauti ama products tofauti kwa sababu pia kuna watu ambao wanatengeneza trash to cash vitu ambavyo zimetupa kama glass na wanatengeneza inaweza kuleta pesa kwa hivyo hakuna limits to what we can do as young people maki we are like 70% of africa so i think hata kwa miaka ambazo zinakuja hata baada ya uchaguzi sisi ndiyo tutaweza kuelekeza hii dunia in the real right direction mm -hmm. yeah. asante sana grace pia niweze kuungana na one of the commanders from batu Welcome sir, welcome sir to K24. Maybe tell us uh where's your Kiswahili na jua lakini unaweza tusalimia tu alafu you tell us uh, what is the involvement of Batuk in the whole event bringing youths together who are innovative. Okay. Well, we we always support the local community community. So we've we've been living here in Anuki for several decades and uh you know we feel part of the fabric. So um we spend a lot of money I think about 47 million pounds uh, sorry 47 million shillings a year in in local community engagement. Um, it's really important for us to support the locals because I think we could all probably remember what it was like to be young once, what it's like to have your first job, what it's like to to embark on a new career. And I think if we can support entrepreneurs and the young people today with their businesses, then it benefits everyone. I think you know the economy in Anuki will be better for more entrepreneurs, more people that are sort of spending money, and and, and you know we can the economy will be better for us all pulling together. Mm -hmm. 
and maybe but is also an employer of how many youths around Nanyuki and even uh, in the country we have seen you uh, in Nanyuki as one of the major employers especially the youths so I, I wouldn't be able to specifically tell you how many of our employees are of a certain age for instance under 21 what I can tell you is we employ 600 um, Kenyans who work for us from a range of jobs from for instance uh, mechanics fund managers engineers sh uh, you know chefs clerks um, but our recruitment policies don't discriminate on age. So for instance, when we recruit people, we make sure that it doesn't matter where you're from, how old you are, whether you're a male, female, you know, it's, it's fair. And I think that's important because it, we shouldn't be discriminating against any sort of group. But having, you know, you know, being a 16 year old that joined the army, I also understand how young, you know, when it's quite intimidating when you join something when you're young. And so I was having a conversation with a colleague here about, um, now, how we make sure that everyone has a fair chance of getting employment. But I think for the young people as well, uh, because they're, you know, they're setting out on their careers, if we can support them with skills and training and advice, then we will do that. I think a good example is probably the work we do with the Nanuki Polytechnic, where we run an apprenticeship scheme. So we've had people come in to learn to be mechanics and chefs, and we're trying to broaden that as well to help the young people of Nanuki. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Commander. Kama mwenye vyoskia ni kwamba hapo tumeweza kunena kwa kingenge kidogo ili kuwepa na fasi hawa vijana tumeoskia kwamba shirika la bato kama wanajeshi wa male kwa wengineleza ambao wakuwa pana nyuki wakishikana na Dreams Expo watakuwa wakiendeleza hii shuguri ya kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wanaretwa pamoja wanaerimishwa na pia wanashika noti ama wanapata pesa kutokana na zile taranta abazo wako nazo. Kutoka hapa mjini na nyuki tutaendelea kufuatilia hii habari ili tukutane na vijana wenyewe ambao wako wabunifu ili tuweze kuelezea ama kuwaonyesha watazamaji wetu vile vijana wa nyuki isioro maua meru wanajikakamua hii leo. Kutoka kwangu Paul Moneki na kurudisha kwenu studio. Naam, shukran sana Paul Mwaniki huyo kutoka mjini Laikipia. Ni furaha mtazamaji kwa na kwamba vijana wanajituma kwa vivyote vile ili kujiingizia mpunga. Naam, Busara. Labda tu tukielekea kwa swali la siku. Naam,